The main ATK interface is divided into two views, Library and Sequencer. Library displays a list of all available devices for quick access. Highlighting device names will open their instances on the side of the UI and in the order of selection. Clicking the big button below will run all open devices, and clicking the button next to it will send open devices to the sequencer view. The sequencer offers a greater level of control in the order of device execution, and a canvas to save and load presets. You can add, duplicate, remove, or rearrange devices in the sequencer using the controls on the left. Clicking the big button below will run all open devices in the order of which they appear in the list. Optionally, you can run and view all devices in the list by clicking the Run All button. Devices can be sent to the library view by clicking the button on the bottom left. Up top, you can collapse and expand the main interface by clicking the button on the left. At the far right is a button that opens the treasure chest. The treasure chest, akin to the bonus features on DVD, contains a trove of bonus scripts to help with animation. Options displays a menu from which you can save, load, and access recent presets, as well as reset ATK. View displays a menu where you can choose which side of ATK the devices will appear, and if they are condensed in size. Update displays a menu from which you can check updates and toggle auto-updating. And lastly, you can check your license status from the About ATK dialog found under Help. Furthermore, ATK will remember its screen position across sessions and device settings with each session.